Guys, today we're catching and cooking giant alligator gar in the San Antonio River in South Texas. Join me. We're going to turn this guy into a meal. Alright guys, what makes these videos possible is our sponsor. For today we have Vikings War of Clans. You guys know this game. It's inspired by the 1990s RPG games. You know, the kinds of games I like to play with Zelda, Final Fantasy. You guys remember those? You had to be dedicated to win those games. Something that today's youth will never understand. What makes Vikings World so addictive is that there are 20 million players online and it's constantly changing. The game evolves with the players. There's never ending fighting over resources, you're forging new alliances and competing in live events. Guys, this month you get to enter a contest for four drones. There are three Spark DGIs and one Phantom. You're going to sign up for this via Instagram. The details will be down below in the description. I'd love to have a drone. It would increase the quality of my videos immensely and it's a great toy for you. All right guys, you know how to support my channel. Go down in the description, download Vikings War of Clans from my links only. And you're gonna get 200 gold coins to start with and a protection shield. Go, download it now. Hey guys, I'm on the shores of the San Antonio River. I've got a beefed up rod with beefed up line. I think this is 40 pound test because monsters lurk in these waters. I've got a rig, some kind of rig with leader, wire leader, I don't know. Bob, uh, Bob Hansler set all this up for me. Got a slip weight up here. Um, we've got three hooks on here, three monster sized C hooks, yeah, yeah, like that. And I've got a piece of shad for bait cut up here. I've got some pectoral fin down there. What I'm going to do is run down. To the river I'm just gonna cast it out leave it on the bottom and we're gonna see what happens we're looking for giant alligator gar we're looking for catfish and we're looking for what's the other one shad no uh, no drum 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 so we got drum we actually came in here filmed some drum we've seen catfish working the shore um, but the big one is the alligator gar those guys get up to four feet long uh, you know a bit much to eat in one day but if we get one, we're going to cook them up. So let's go cast this guy down here and see what happens. Fish. Shit. Oh. Oh, he's gonna come off. Ugh. Yes! Got him on short. Doesn't mean nothing though. Ugh. Oh, here we go guys. Not a big gar, but uh, good size to eat, I think. Look at that. Whew. These guys got so much power, it cut me up bad on my hand. The, everything's sharp on it. Oh, Just remember, when you go in, everything wants to kill you. 
This one's no exception. My hand is bleeding just from the scales on this guy. Well, that was a good fight, and I'm glad he's not any bigger than that. That's for sure. Whew. These plates are hard as armor, so you can't even really get through them. This is an ancient animal. Skin it like a regular animal. Getting you two nice pieces of backstrap. Just finishing up here. You see, I've separated this side already. Basically, you get two backstraps, one side, other side. So, just basically scooping it out. I'm gonna get nice. I did a better job on that side, obviously, because it didn't puncture through, but that's a, a really great fillet there and another good fillet here. All meat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it back up in the skin here so the flies don't get on it while we get our fire ready. One of the easiest things to find in Texas is dry wood that burns hot. I asked Bob if I should bring my saw from Canada. You don't need a saw here. Everything's dry and plentiful. There's wood everywhere. Just pick it up. It's just wood. At home, this stuff would be moldy, wet, wouldn't burn. Anything on the ground, we gotta find dead standing. That's what we talk about, dead standing. This is like dead lying. Lying everywhere. No saw required. And my lighting tool is just going to be a lighter. I haven't tried friction fire here. I think it would be super easy. But working up a sweat on top of a sweat, I'll just cheat. not uncommon to come across this gem really heavy wood and if you take out your knife yeah that's what I'm using now I lost my Groman it is somewhere in Texas and I can't find it I actually think I lost it ch chasing an armadillo to be honest I'm making that up tried to jump the fence and the knife I think flipped off or something I can't find it anywhere but I know I lost it while tracking down an armadillo so I found this piece of cow bone and Bob Hansler who's hosting me here in Texas put it on the grinder and he made a nice wicked sharp edge I don't know if I could cut up a gar with it but I can probably show you the way I can identify that type of wood, the mesquite, is it's red inside. So that's kind of neat. And uh, if you don't know anything about mesquite, which I mean, I had heard about mesquite before coming here, and it's basically something that you use to smoke and flavor your meat. So I'm going to add some mesquite on top of it. It burns really hot and produces a lot of coal because we're going to put this meat directly on the coals, season it directly on the cold. If I can find some seasoning, I don't know if I have any wadobo spice left. Um, but Wes is with me. I'll introduce you to him in a second. He, uh, he's got some rattlesnake rub that I think would go really well with alligator gar. <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing because Wes is listening to this and he's like, what are, you, what are you talking about over there? Put some rattlesnake rub on your alligator gar. That'll work. That ru snake rub goes on anything, yeah, exactly. So let's throw this mesquite on the fire. I'll see if I can get a little bit more. If I don't have mesquite, that's fine too. All this stuff burns. It just doesn't produce like those long lasting coals that you're, that you're wanting. So let's throw this guy on and see if we can find a little bit more. That flame is already cooking. Two seconds left later, it's nuts. That's Wes S over there. He's got a YouTube channel called Wes S of all things. Is S your last name? Uh -huh. Yeah, Wes S. 
So you gotta type in West S and then you gotta find the right guy because there's a couple of West S's. Three or something. West had a few bites, you lost a few fish? Lost a few fish. You wanna see the good one, you gotta go to my channel. <laughs> yeah, I, he's got a good one on there. I, you got a good I one. I threw my camera down. <laughs> yeah. It was the camera or the fishing pole. Yeah, he's uh, he got a good, he's got a good fish on there. Didn't, didn't eat it though. Didn't catch it and cook it. He just caught it. That the the thing with the alligator gar is there are a lot of them, but there aren't very many big ones left. Yeah. Well, they're an old fish. Like Bob was saying, they're like 80 years yeah. old. The big ones. So if you catch a big one, you enjoy the rod. You let it go. <laughs> That's what you do. I can apply another facets of life too yeah you enjoy the ride let it go <laughs> especially the big ones <laughs> yeah, <it's been laughs> yeah i did that on my first marriage <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give give us his channel a shot i think i think he's gonna do more catching cooking and stuff yeah, this is fun isn't it yeah, it's it's, just, a, it's a challenge to put it that way um, like, catch and release is easy yeah yeah but that's pleasure that's like taking the grief out of fish the whole deal but Catching and cooking is is a whole nother plane. Like after you gotta you gotta kit you gotta take it apart. You gotta film it, and you gotta make a fire, and you maybe don't want to, but I'm hungry anyway, so I'm, I don't actually mind eating it. That's mm. different. And you come out here with a cooler full of a sundries, right? Or you come out here the way we did. Yeah, with it's nothing. A different. We didn't bring anything. Nothing. Water. I have drank more water in the past few days than we got in the lakes back home yeah it's uh two liters a day no that's just a start two two liters four liters probably oh, dude i went through four gallons of water yesterday Whew. gallons i don't know liters and uh <laughs> yeah it's there's a language US. divide here yeah. yeah we're getting along yeah we're doing a good he, job he's not bad for a, a furner furner <laughs> in canada if you have the same interest as other people, you can get along with anybody. You can get, you can get along with anybody. Yeah, it's common interests that bring people together. You know? I even got friends from Oklahoma, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a do for Texas. No, nah, you can sit around and do anything with anybody if you have a common interest. That's what you guys should do. If you guys, you know, don't have male buddies, just like get reach out to people who do the same sorts of things you do and you'll run into buddies like that. You know, you don't, guys don't sit around a house and... I mean, you can you can do that too, but it, it's better if you go out and do something. Go chase fish, and we're chasing the hogs all over the place, dude. Having a good time. Oh, you can sit there and let, feel of your controller vibrating when you shoot somebody, or you get shot, or you can go out and feel, you know, two, three hundred torque pounds on the other end of that string. Yeah, it's a whole nother thing. And when that guard gets on you, and you're you're in crisis mode, and your adrenaline's pumping. It's real, man. Like I cut my hand. I hooked that fish here. That fish pulled me down this bank. It's a, they're big fish, man. They're big. Four foot. Sharpened up a little skewer here with my makeshift bone knife. It actually cuts pretty good. I'm impressed with that. I gotta try it on a, a fish maybe next time. So uh, whenever you cook your fish primitively, you kind of want to wait until you're 100% sure it's finished. Because fiddling around with these is not that much fun. I'm gonna always, oh no, we're gonna lose it. Oh, Wes. Oh, my skewer is too small. Oh, it's perfect. Perfect flip. <laughs> After all that. Oh, that's hot. All right, Wes has got its real knife in there. He's gonna help me out. I get it all the way through. There. Oh, that's a big chunk of meat, what's going on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh God, that's a lot of fire, Chief. Yeah, it's hot, hot, hot. Okay, so as I was saying, you wanna make sure it's good and, good and thick and tent. <laughs> good and thick and firm before you flip it. Oh, the smoke. All right. I'm going to throw a little bit more spices on there. I'm going to let it sit. It's really close. And Wes is right. 
it is a big piece of meat. A little bit on the top here. We're running low on the wadobo spice. So that means it's almost time to go back to Canada. That's it. We cooked and caught a lot of animals. Food served. Got us some San Antonio River alligator gar with what you call it? Adobo? Wadobo. Wadobo? It's, it's wood. Wood beard? Wood. Ah. Wood. Adobo? It's Wadobo. 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 Wadobo, yeah. Anyway, somebody on the channel suggested that as a name because it's calling it Adobo and it's not really Adobo. It's something like Adobo. So we call it Wadobo. Wadobo. There it's, you go. It's good on everything so far. Turtle, chicken. Chicken, car. Gar, gar, alligators. Rattlesnake? Rattlesnake? I, have you tried a rattlesnake yet? Uh, yes. Yes. It was good. Alright, that's what my meat looks like. If you're wondering what my meat looks like, it's firm and big. It's a big piece of meat, to be honest. Like that's, uh, I don't know, two pounds probably. Pound? Pound and a half. Pound and a half of meat. <laughs> I'm gonna eat mine like a burger. I wouldn't recommend eating the leaves, but yeah, I wouldn't eat the leaves. Yeah. This is a trash tree. Yours? I picked that up. That's a uh, that's poison oak. You like that wadobo spice? Wadobo spice, pretty good stuff. You could use a butter butter. A lot of people consider the alligator gar to be trash fish, and they don't actually eat it. But they throw it up on the bank. Probably because it's hard to clean. You gotta pop those scales, man, and they're like armor plated. And you know, you're liable. I got I got cut just from the scales, and you get cut by the teeth. I mean, they mess you up. Yeah, they mess you up. Got to be careful in this part of the world. In yeah, the getting cut is almost a routine thing when you're cutting open a turtle, prying your knife around there. Um, all the spines on all the trees. Everything has spines out here. Everything. It, all the trees, all the, well, obviously cat, everybody knows cactus has spines, but every tree branch, everything. So after filling up on alligator gar, just lean protein, if you're kind of in survival mode, which is, you know, a lot of what I do on the channel, you're gonna need either a fat or sugar. So we have lots of sugar here. This is a mulberry tree and they're producing like crazy for the last two weeks. I've probably eaten 20 pounds of mulberry and I'm still not sick of them. They are so good. They are, um, you know, they, they're, they melt in your fingers. They're so ripe. Your hands end up purple. So grabbing a bunch of these, it's pretty simple. Just reach up, look at all these branches here, mulberry. And this is like not even a good tree. I'm gonna pull these branches down. Um, during the Wilderness Living Challenge, we needed massive amounts of volume of sugar just to keep our body weight up. What we do is drop a sheet down, a couple sheets, plastic sheets, and we take a PVC pipe with a stick jammed into it, and we shake the tree, collect them all. We were able to collect about two or three pounds within about an hour. That's a lot of sugar, that's a lot of calories, and that's what your body needs to balance itself out. If you're just looking at, you know, something like lean, lean protein from fish. So you have a resource like this. There's other uh, resources coming into season. Persimmons, there's wild grape. They're not quite there yet, but they're just about. So as we move on from the mulberries, we'll move into other uh, food items. And there's also the cactus, the little pod flowers. They're pretty good in the, in the cactus itself. Those would make great sides to a wild foraged meal. So just uh, knowing what's in season and when is really important. So I'm going to pig out on a few more of these just to get my stomach balanced out with the protein and uh, get my keep my energy levels up. So you could definitely turn these into a jam. As you can see from my fingers, just picking a few, they're ripe and they're digestible and they're sweet. Very good, very good wild source of food, wild source of calories and easy. Immediate calories, immediate energy. All right, so let's catch and cook alligator gar. Got some action. <laughs> Big piece of meat. Big piece of meat. It's good. I recommend it. Until next time, subscribe or not, I don't care. Check out Wes. Wes S. Check out the teeth on that. Oh, petrified garhead. 
Those are sharp, sharp, sharp teeth. Sharp, sharp, sharp. I would not want my hand in there at all. <laughs> 